Hey guys, it's Snem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So as you can tell by the title, today we are testing a brand new drugstore foundation and that is the L'Oreal Powder Foundation, 24 hour fresh wear powder foundation. I'm not gonna ramble, you guys will see all my thoughts and the demo and all that kind of stuff, my review. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. Jumping right into it before we go into the powder foundation, I'm gonna prep my skin with a little bit of primer because it is a powder foundation and I do have dry skin. So I do need to just moisturize and get get my skin a little bit smooth and plump before adding a powder. So I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Prime Serum Hydrating uh, Primer. And I love this stuff. It's really, really nice and hydrating. It's a great primer and lightweight as well. So I'm just going to work that into the skin. I'm just going to press it in and let that sink in for a few seconds. So moving straight into the foundation, this is the brand new powder foundation from L'Oreal that just hit the market and this is called the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear powder foundation. So it's basically like their fresh wear liquid foundation but in powder form. I'm going to read you a little bit about the claims and then we're just going to jump straight into the demo. So this foundation claims that it provides full coverage, it also provides you with a fresh matte finish. It's supposed to look very natural as well, it's not supposed to look powdery or anything like that. It's supposed to blur the skin, even the skin out and also smooth the skin. So it's supposed to look very smoothing and it's not supposed to look drying. It has a weightless and creamy formula and it is for all skin types, including acne prone skin as well. So the shade that I have is 20 Ivory, which is their lightest shade. And believe it or not, this still looks to me like it's very dark. So we'll, we will see, but this is what it looks like. 20 ivory and it also does come with a sponge as well underneath and a mirror i mean how cute usually they don't come with mirrors and this is a really really nice mirror so yes comes with a mirror and then a little kind of latex sponge so i think what i'm going to do is apply it three different ways i am going to apply it with a more dense kabuki kind of flat top brush to really just buff it into the skin i feel like a powder foundation works with these types of brushes better but i also do want to use a fluffy big brush and just kind of buff it in and see if it's going to look a little bit more diffused and more sheer and then i am going to be using this as well so first let's just have a look at the shade this is 20 ivory and I'm just going to have a feel. Feels really nice right off the bat. Looks like it's going to be okay. Let's just give it a go. I'm just going to take... Okay, you get a ton of fallout. Ton of fallout, which is a shame. And I don't know if you saw that, but you get a lot of powder fly away. Okay, I feel like I have to really go in. And you can see I do have redness and acne scars. So this is my third time buffing it in. I feel like you might have to layer this quite a bit to get full coverage. Just buffing it in circular motions. It's not super full coverage, it's actually more sheer. I have to really, really, really layer it and buff it in to get a lot of coverage. I'm not sure how I feel about it because I feel like it's just not giving me full coverage right off the bat. I feel like if you want to, if it wants to be a powder foundation, it has to be quite full coverage right off the bat. And I don't like that. I have to really just keep layering and layering and layering to get full coverage out of it. I can still see um, my blemishes and my scars right there. So I'm gonna go in with this side and use the sponge, see if that's gonna pack it on a little more heavy. So let's just see. So I'm getting a generous amount. And I'm going to try the swiping technique. I actually like the sponge a lot better. I feel like it goes on a lot more smooth and I feel like I don't actually have to keep on layering it. I feel like it definitely provides you with more coverage using the sponge straight away rather than a brush. I felt like I had to really dip in quite a few times and then it gets all powdery and then you get a lot of fallout. So I don't feel like I have to dip in so many times in one area to cover it. I feel like it just went on a lot more for coverage with the sponge. 
Now the shade is so dark, I feel like. I mean, look at that, and it's very pink. Not loving the shade whatsoever, and that is the lightest shade. I mean, it just looks a little bit too off for my liking, as you can see. Very um, yellowy and very pink, you can see. But I will say I really like this side with the sponge. So I'm gonna take a little bit more with a big fluffy brush and I feel like this would be great like on top of liquid foundations. Ooh. Yeah. I really, really, really like it. With a big fluffy brush as well. I feel like it looks so flawless and smooth just dusting it over your skin with a big brush like this and with the sponge like these two maybe just go in first with the sponge just to layer it on and then buff it in with a nice dense but fluffy brush this one is the morphe e2 this is what my skin looks like i have to say my skin looks so smooth so smooth and it just looks really, really, really clear. Like it looks even, it looks silky smooth. It feels really, really, really nice on the skin. It feels lightweight, it definitely feels weightless, like they said. Um, and I like that it's a matte finish, but it doesn't make me look dry. So I can achieve a matte look, even though I have dry skin, but it doesn't look drying. It didn't cling onto any dry patches. You can see my skin just looks nice and smooth. So this is a great powder, whether you want to wear it on its own or on top of a liquid foundation for those of you who have dry skin as well. I think even if you have oily skin, this would be great for you. They did say that it's for all skin types. And I do think this would work for a range of skin types because it feels really, really, really nice on the skin. Um, and I really like how it looks. I have to say it, I hate the shade. I absolutely hate the shade. Um, I wish they come out with more in the future but I really like the feel of it and how it actually looks. Now I have to say, I'm not gonna be using it with this brush anymore, anything dense. I'm actually gonna use it more with this and then the sponge. I think that's the best way to apply it in my opinion. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more and even out this side. And you can see it just looks so smooth. I think a primer is necessary underneath this foundation. You definitely need to prep your skin before going in with this. Cause I feel like this just um, goes on a lot more smoother when you do have a little bit of a, a nice moisturizing primer underneath. So let me know what you guys think. This is the foundation up close. I really, 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 really like how it looks. I will say as well, it's not super full coverage. It's definitely more on the medium coverage. Um, you can get up to a full coverage, but you have to really layer it. So just bear that in mind. But I do like that even though you keep layering it, it doesn't look powdery. It just doesn't look cakey. It looks really, really, really smooth and flawless. And it looks like skin, but just mattified, if that makes sense. And it just looks like perfected skin. So I really love how my skin is looking. Like even just this area right here, um, I just love how smooth like the cheeks look. Looks really, really good. So I am gonna layer it with a little bit of a liquid concealer and see how that's gonna pair on top of a powder. And I am gonna go in with the NARS Natural Radiant Creamy Concealer. Is it called Natural Radiant? No, Radiant Creamy Concealer in vanilla. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that. So I'm just going to blend that underneath the eyes and see. It is a very creamy powder, very creamy powder. So I do feel like it's gonna blend nicely with other cream products, liquids, because it's not like this super powdery powder, if that makes sense. It's not a drying powder. The concealer just blended flawlessly underneath the eyes. Look at that. Looks so, so, so good. I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit on the nose. It's not lifting the powder. It's just meshing really nicely. Cause like I said, again, this powder is really different. It's like a very creamy, creamy powder. It has a very silky texture. It definitely reminds me of the Bare Minerals powder foundation. If you're familiar with that, it has a very similar um, texture. 
and formula. I will update you guys in the description box as well how it wore throughout the day, if it transferred and anything like that, and I will keep you guys updated in the description box whilst I wear it throughout the day. I'm just gonna set my skin with a little bit of the ColourPop translucent powder, the no filter translucent powder, and I wanna see how an additional powder is going to look on top of a powder foundation. I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes, just in this area, I don't need to set the rest of my face because it's pretty much already set, of course. So now that I have concealer on and powder on in this area, I have to say I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving how my skin is looking and how it feels. It looks so, so, so matte and smooth, but in a really, really nice way. So smooth. So. I have to say with this foundation, I do feel like if you want something really full coverage, you can get it out of this, but you do have to build it. But also I feel like in my opinion, how I would actually wear this foundation is use a liquid foundation, like use a regular liquid foundation, say anything, you know, the Maybelline one. And then after that set with a powder foundation to get even more full coverage and to just get that smooth look. I don't think I would actually wear this on its own as foundation because I feel like I have to keep layering it and layering it, layering it. And I just don't feel like it's still gonna give me enough coverage. And it's just, yeah, not like my traditional everyday routine where I like putting on a liquid foundation. I don't feel like I'm gonna be switching anytime soon to a powder foundation for my everyday routine. So I will say it depends if you are looking for a good powder foundation and you always wear powder foundations, then definitely go for this one because it's drugstore, it's great. You can see how it looks. It feels incredible, looks incredible. Um, but if you are someone who isn't a fan of powder foundations, but you like a powder to set your liquid foundation, then you will like this a lot because you can just use it as a setting powder it's going to give you that smooth look and it's going to add additional coverage as well a great tip as well is if you have a sheer foundation or medium coverage foundation you can go in with that and then you can further add a little bit more coverage and smoothness um, with the powder on top so this is great it's versatile you can use it as a powder foundation on some days or you can use it to actually set your liquid foundations so I would 100% recommend the powder foundation. The only thing I don't like is the shade, the shade range. There aren't many shades, um, so you might struggle a little bit finding your shade, depending on your skin tone. So I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to give you guys my final thoughts. How my skin looks after all the rest of the makeup. Yes, it's a very dark foundation for me, but there's nothing I can do about that. That's their shade range. I do even feel like I do even feel like it did oxidize slightly as well. It feels like it's gotten a little bit darker than when I first put it on, which is such a shame. I mean, it's it's just a shame that this is the lightest shade. Um, really, really, really real shame. Um, but I'm sure I can make it work, maybe. We'll see. But this is how my skin does look. Um overall with the powder foundation again even though it's a dark shade for my fair skin if you are darker than me i'm sure you can find your shade as usual i will have everything linked down below as well if you guys want to check out the powder foundation along with the other products i used and also i will update you guys on the wear test and all that kind of stuff um, in the description box as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful let me know your thoughts and comments down below have you tried this powder foundation out yet or are you thinking of picking it up and yeah i hope it was helpful and let me know what you guys want to see next from me give me your video requests down below and i hope everyone is staying safe so until next time i'll speak to you guys all in my next video